This is Dee with Divine Needle. Happy Moon Day. <laughs> this is the Age of Aquarius Spiritual Path Tarot reading for Moon Day, December 7th, 2020. The 7th. You know, it's interesting. Um, I got a vision <sighs> in the wee hours of Saturday evening. And I was going down the highway in the car, I was by myself, and there was one of those little small two-seater cars that a lot of people drive in the city, laying on its side in the road, <clears throat> smashed up, and had to stop really fast. I was worried about the car, if there were cars behind me, if they would get stopped. And I was like, that's weird. And it was off on the right hand side a bit, but in the lane a bit. So I had to stop and kind of go around. <clears throat> and then I started noticing Huge piles of vehicles and trucks, tractor trailers and stuff all over the place. All over the place. Giant piles, literally. And I noticed one of them, like, off on the right-hand side that really stood out was because it was sitting on top of a pile of cars and just general garbage was a tractor trailer with a daytime type um, tractor on the front. Yeah, so it didn't have a sleeper or anything and it was white. And it uh, looked like it might, might have been like a Ford or a Mac possibly. Um, and then I know there was a bunch of stuff that was in the road um, ahead. Next thing I know, I'm in a helicopter. And I think the helicopter had just taken off. I was still gripping a cell phone in my hand that I had in my hand when I was driving. Because I was getting ready to contact... Um, Nell and others to let them know what I was seeing. <clears throat> I had a death grip on that cell phone. And I was in a helicopter, strapped in, but the side door was open so I could see what was going on. And it was just taking off and it was tipped to the side I was sitting on so I could see, I think. I had a death grip on that phone. <laughs> and um, it was nothing but complete devastation everywhere I looked. And what I saw from the highway vantage point was just a lot of vehicles and some trash and stuff. But from the higher perspective of like the hangman card was utter devastation. So I was plucked up from the roadway by a helicopter. Um, I don't know. Very fascinating vision. Um, a lot of times my nighttime visions are more symbolic than actual. So, hmm. fascinating, right? Always pay attention to those visions I get because, yeah, every time they've meant something. So, anyway, I was told to get a card from this deck. I normally don't do that on dailies, but this is the Moon Day reading. 
and they wanted one out of here so so we're gonna get one just gonna give them a light shuffle All right, I'm listening. Twice this card is, is that the one? Twice this card stood out. Where are you? That is not it. Where are you? There you are. That one for some reason. All right. That's our card for today. Oh, wow. I don't think I've actually seen this picture. When I got this deck, I avoided looking at the cards for, for a reason. I was told to get it. I got it. And I've been ignoring the cards. So a lot of these are very new to me. I have not seen them yet. That's one of them. This is one of them. And I don't have any idea what they say. And I definitely, when I do get these cards, I don't try to memorize what's on them. So it's always a surprise every time I get it. <laughs> All right, let's see what they have to say. Stop focusing on the situation for a while and just bring your awareness within. Close your eyes, relax, and let go. Take a walk in the park or do whatever it takes to detach. A solution will soon become obvious and will work out fine. And all will work out fine. Good message for many of us. Because we want all the answers and we want them now, right? <laughs> Quit focusing. It'll come. Okay. So, now I know why they wanted that card. And this deck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. The energy is electric right now. I can feel it. It is really electric. We're in a waning moon. I was born under a waning moon. And I get particularly strong during those time frames. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed um, waxing waning moons for yourselves um, and which one you were born under and how much power you have during certain times, but that's a thing. All right, for moon day, please. I didn't even look to see what day we're in AOA. Let's have a look-see. Oh, goodness. What day are we in? <laughs> 169. Hmm. Fascinating. All right. And we're in the last quarter of the moon. So definitely waning. Day 169, Moon Day, Goddess Day. <laughs> All right, that one came out with ease and was obvious. Let it run on the other deck. All right, <clears throat> broken open. Whew. This is all the chakras lit up fired up, and, yeah, crown everything blown wide open. So don't focus. 
Because when you meditate and you go astral, it's not really, people say, make sure you focus. And it's like, no, it's actually a lack of focus. It's where you let yourself go completely blank and undistracted. And then you break open. <laughs> I'm guessing they're telling me to do that. And you all. And once again, they told me to hold on. On that card. <sighs> all right. Let's get the energy of Moon Day. <laughs> that was quick. The Golden Shield. Queen of Wands. Queen of Scepters. Power and authority of fire. Fire. Okay. What's our highest priority for Moon Day? What's our highest priority for Moon Day, please? Highest priority for Moon Day. I don't know how many of you are getting a lot of deja vus lately, but we are. That's our highest priority for Moon Day. card jumped. Is that the card for highest priority? Indeed. <laughs> Very nice. Sun card, the warrior. And what do we need to be mindful of and or prepare for, please? Delays. I keep hearing delays. Delays. Okay. I'm hearing the word delays and the cards are coming out strangely slow on the mindful of prepare for. Ooh, wow. Nice. Woo! Yeah. The Reaper. I don't get that card often. And there we go, the outlaw. That's the hangman. Sacrifice and redemption. Higher, wider perspective. It's interesting because that's exactly what it felt when I was pulled up by the helicopter. Hangman energy. <clears throat> and that's what this card is talking about stop focusing on the situation. Bring your awareness within. Okay. Close your eyes, relax, and go astral. Because I got something to tell us. How's everything to do with this reading? <sighs> What's interesting is... Um, when is that solar eclipse precisely? I know Saturn and Jupiter are moving into Aquarius right now. Uh, I believe it occurs on the solstice. <sighs> so we'll be looking at a new moon on the 14th. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Interesting reading. The outlaw. All right. Major Arcana in three positions. Shh. 
exactly 12. <sighs> Examine the situation from a different perspective. The hangman also is delays. And I heard the word delays. <sighs> So it's both. The message is both. It's delays. Hang time, in other words, right? Just chill. Chill time. And gaining a different perspective over your situation. Okay. This is a spirit designating how we break from establishment to serve a higher purpose. A guardian spirit has come to support you as you scrutinize both the fundamentalism around you and the personal dogma embedded deep within. E12 sends the message of psychic mindfulness. Tap into your own deep sea of unconscious. This is the heretical, the eccentric, the dissident. This is the rejection of authority and rebellion against establishment. The outlaw appears to you when the answer is to operate outside of and in contention with the established rules of the institution. Do what does. I give that you may give. Coram Dio. You are in the presence of God. Whew. Yeah, that helicopter ride. Over utter devastation. Your overall energy for today, the golden shield. Queen of Scepters, you are shielded against those who are sending you psych psychic arrows of envy, ill will, resentment, someone who covets what you have and who is just waiting for a vulnerable opening to strike. Thus, the golden shield defends you, and this is a spirit is now making his presence known so that the angelic power of fire can keep you safe, healthy, and flourishing. A male ancestor, one from your paternal lineage, can appear to you through a golden shield. That's the overall energy for today. A queen of scepters. So, a person in your path. Your highest priority is to be in this energy. Key 19, the warrior, sun card, master of the mystic light, major arcana. Key 19, the son of the magi, signifies competence and reciprocity. Here we see our consciousness expanding. Broken open. The master of the mystic light appears to you when you are on the verge of confronting potential with reason and truth through which you shall create goodness. Goodness is creation with purpose arrived at through reason and truth. Here is victory in the battles you fought for your own independence. You've broken all chains. You've detached yourself from that which had tried to control your will. Perhaps this queen... And now your light shines freely out into the world. The warrior is also the spirit of fighting to protect others, fighting in service. This is success and glory you achieve, not for yourself, but so you can be in the empowered position to help others thrive and grow. This is a spirit of heroic acts. Inscribed upon the warrior's gloves, Liberatus Profundant Omnia Luce. Freedom floods all things with light, and Luciet Lux Vestra. Let your light shine. You are now liberated and triumphant. Hmm. Liberation comes from living in your inner child. It's interesting because the figure is wielding a sword. Right? 
perhaps for this queen of fire, right? What to be mindful of, prepare for. Key 13, the Reaper, passage to initiation. Major Arcana. Lucium Sycamore. Follow the light. You're being guided through an initiation phase, and the suffering you experience serves a greater divine purpose. A change that you know in your heart is imminent, but have been denying is the change you will face. The Reaper appears to you when the circumstances you face call for this gentle reminder. All is not fair to the human perception. You toil for the bread of life until sweat sees from your brow, and yet that life will be taken away, no matter who you are or what you have done. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That is the purpose and the absence of purpose to human genesis. Endure through the difficult changes to come, and when those winds of change have settled, you will find yourself better for it. There will be a rebirth after this death. <sighs> a rebirth. Big change. Big ending. Energy. Transformation energy. Hmm. All right, now we'll get this card. <clears throat> All right. For Moon Day, please. That's the one. Celebration. That is a get-together with others. <sighs> Mindful of prepare for. It is possible that some of you may lose someone. Remember, you're not truly losing someone. Because this is getting a get-together with others. This is the triple goddess motif, basically. It's also a three. This outlaw breaks down to a three. This is a completion. It breaks down to um, one and nine is a ten. Ten can break down to one, but ten is a completion. And the Reaper is a 13, breaks down to a 4. Hmm. I'm going to get one more card from this deck on the Reaper itself. Besides that, control. Transformation of control. Interesting energy. Wow. Past lives on the bottom. Hmm. Transformation of control. Hmm. That's fascinating. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out, right? Because this energy doesn't have to necessarily happen today. As we found, this can fluctuate like five days, up to five days. But um, I have a feeling it's today's energy just because that vision I got of the helicopter and the devastation below. Hmm. All right. Well, that's the reading for Moon Day. Day 169. Hmm. 
It's interesting, day 169. That frequency, 369. Another three. Hmm. Anyway, I hope this helps you on your path. Many of you are here on missions and need some general guidance, right? <laughs> anyway, remember, you are loved beyond your wildest dreams.